Now the next thing we need to do, and that's what we'll focus on in this video, is script the amount of grenades that we have left into the right slot and display it on the screen here. Now by default it's already set to 25, so let's change that and then let's move on and make a little script to make that happen. Now let's make a new script in our scripts folder and then call it count. Let's open this up. We don't need the update function, we only need it to be set from the start so let's type the awake function here and then in the awake function type GUI text dot text equals zero. Alright just to reset it to zero as soon as we start. Let's save this and close and attach this to our G count game object. Alright that should work now when I start my game it gives me a little error and it says cannot convert integer to string. Now that's an interesting error and let me explain what that means. As soon as we open up our script you'll notice that I have set a zero here and the text on the screen is a string variable not a number variable so um, it is giving us the problem saying hey you're trying to put a number into a string. Now usually JavaScript already converts this for us but there's a little easy fix that we can do to basically fix this to change this to a string and uh, this is an unofficial hack but uh, I use it all the time and it works just fine what I do is I add two quotations therefore this is now an empty string kind of and then add the plus sign plus zero so now it has a string plus a number and that will basically convert this to a string so let me save this start the script back up and right now we see that the grenades is set to zero it's a little bit of an ugly hack but it, it works you know it's just a little JavaScript trick there alright next we need to make sure that when we pick up the boxes something actually happens and this is in our collision script so let's go to the part where it says print you now have and any amount of grenades and let's add some script here now notice that the last script we just simply typed GUI text dot text but that is because this is attached to our GUI text so we can directly reference the GUI text namespace. We cannot do that in our collision script so in our collision script instead we have to type game object and in this case I'm typing game object with a capital because I'm referencing to any game object in the world and this is game object with a small g which means it is uh, referencing to the game object which is part of for example the hit variable or part of a collider or part of whatever the script is attached to. So game object dot find with a capital F and then the name of our count which is let me peek real quick G underscore count so let's type that in dot and from here on we can go on with our GUI text GUI text dot text equals now again if I just put the number here which is grenade ammo this is a number variable it will give us the same error so let me do that little trick again of two quotations and a plus sign save it and now it should work when I run into my boxes that I get more grenades and they're very nice I now have 8, 16 and 24 grenades and when I throw the grenades it updates. Very nice. It was very easy. We did this pretty quick. Shows us again how flexible Unity 3D is. Uh, there's that for two-dimensional GUIs. Now next what I'd like to show you we can of course move on and make our third work but before I want to show you that since we're doing GUIs anyway let's move into how to make a 3D main menu for our game so uh, that we have something that looks pretty cool so let's do that next and after that we will continue to have our turret attack us so lots of fun ahead and let's move on